Yeah, Sarah, good to be with you. Um, we were up 20% last quarter. You didn't have me on, and we're down, what, 12 today at this point, and here I am. But look, I think it's, uh, it's a buying opportunity for our shareholders. Um, we hit our numbers for the first quarter in what is a very difficult environment around supply chain and availability. Uh, at the peak, we had almost 10% of our manufacturing workforce out in December due to Omicron, um, and we were still able to hit our number in the first quarter. I think the biggest theme that people are looking at today in, in driving the stock price lower is inflation. Uh, we talked about 400 basis points of headwinds in the quarter is now 500, you know, as we look at it for the year. And so there's more inflation in there. We didn't change our, our core guidance for the core business. We held that unchanged. All we did was flow through the new news of the Billy acquisition uh, around accounting changes and amortization flowing through. And we're super excited about that. That's gonna add four mm -hmm. points of top line growth to the year. So we, we actually think it's a good quarter and there's a lot to like about the business. On the inflation story, Rod, since you mentioned that that is the big focus for investors, I remember you said last time that it was the worst inflation you've ever seen in 25 years in, in the business. Are you not able to pass on higher prices to consumers to absorb the costs? Still true, Sarah, and it's gotten worse since last time we've talked. Um, and yes, we are able to, to price for a good portion of it, not all of it. What you saw in the first quarter on our gain is roughly half of it was volume, half of it was price. We have more price that will start to flow in throughout the rest of the fiscal year. And so where we are leaders in the category, we price and we'll move and where we're not, we'll follow. Uh, pricing is one equation, but there's lots of levers we can pull and we're staying disciplined on our cost takeout program, 200 basis points of cost takeout. I think if you look at our gross margin profile vis-a-vis -vis some others in our space, that's why our gross margin print's actually better. We have more levers to pull. Rod, you mentioned the uh, increase in inflation that you've seen, 400 basis points to 500 basis points. What's the primary driver of that 100 basis point increase, and how should investors think about uh, this inflation? How much of it is structural? How much of this is transitory? Yeah, the good news is the, the new inflation peak we're seeing is primarily around materials. And so uh, we've talked about resins in the past being significantly up. This last round, chemicals, specifically chemicals that go into the sun care formulations are the big drivers. As I look at all of these materials um, and, and you look at where the curves might go, we've seen resin peak now. And so now it's just how fast does it come back down? Um, same with some of the sun care materials. And so I think the new inflation up that we've seen personally is much more transitory in nature. That's a pretty strong statement. So, so Rod, just round it out with a, a picture of the consumer. So you do shaving, right? You do the, the feminine care business and sunscreens. Those are the three primary, and the wet ones, wipes. And all these businesses kind of went haywire in different directions during COVID with this strong demand for the wipes and the sunscreens and less for, for shaving and feminine care. Are, are we back to normal or how far away are we from what would be from normal trends that you'd see from the consumer in these staple categories? Yeah, we're getting there. And so I think that we're not back to normal yet, but what you're seeing is all of our core categories, X wet ones are improving. Shaving sequential growth in, in the category, our share performance better. Sun care, sequential growth, our performance better, and same for femcare. We grew femcare 5% this quarter. And so we're seeing our categories evolve positively, the consumer's there, demand is there. Um, the problem is how do you meet the demand, you know, in, in the short run? And we're all struggling with that when you, when you have, you know, a 5 to 10% of your workforce out. But we're beyond that now. The good news is, as I look at it today, and the Omicron outs are, are back to what I would call a normal rate. And so I'm quite optimistic that our ability to meet the demand going forward is going to be better. And we see the demand there. I would guess by the time it, we get to late spring, summer in our categories, you're going to see more people back in the office. That's more shaving, more daily grooming routines. And you're going to see a lot of people getting out, going on vacation with leisure travel, which will drive sunscreen. So we're again, we're optimistic for the balance of the year. Yeah, and transitory inflation. Rod Little, thank you for joining us.